guys! Welcome to my second episode of Pixels and Scribbles. So in this episode, I'm actually going to teach you guys how to do your very own face sets from scratch. So that means um, from a rough digital sketch to a completely clean and then colored uh, character design. Um, and in the description below, I will be uh, stating what the dimensional size is for uh, the face sets on MB. So let's get started! So the first thing you'll want to do is you want to go on Pinterest and, or Google or whatever search engine you want and look up for reference. And reference is just kind of like inspirational ideas and, you know, clothing ideas. Uh, even, you know, if you're looking to do a mage or anything, just type in character designs, anime, or if you want your style to look like Marvel or anything like that, um, you know, whatever. Or Disney even. It's, it's really up to you. It doesn't have to be anime. I just like the anime look. <laughs> so yeah, I, I then start and I do rough sketches from the beginning, and I do dissect faces from my reference and sort of get the face shape that I want, um, depending on what kind of hair, what kind of eyes I'm looking for, and I also, uh, you'll notice that I flip uh, back and forth a lot from my previous face sets to the one that I'm creating now, and that's mostly because I just want to sort of keep the same style. So once you have a style going, you sort of want them to look like they're from the same world. Um, and that's super important because, I mean, you know, obviously you don't want your character looking like a Disney character and then, you know, looking like a Marvel character. But, I mean, if you want to do that, I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't. It's just, it's, it's an artist thing, you know, you, you'd, you'd want to do that. So, um, so I do my base sketch. I separate all of my layers, eyes, uh, nose, mouth. Uh, even ears, especially eyebrows, and uh, even the hair in case you, you change your mind about hairstyles later. Um, but I do definitely recommend doing that, especially for the cleanup stage, because you're going to be changing their expression and stuff uh, quite a lot, actually. Um, so going through all of this, uh, if you guys have any questions about how I did anything in specific, I can definitely... Uh, go it through with it with you guys because right now this is sort of a speed draw of what I did but I sort of I want to keep this video um, under 20 minutes and just above 10 minutes uh, just to sort of you know you guys will get the idea of how I how I did things and and whatnot but um the tools that I'm using actually for for the drawing this is um, a Cintiq um, you can totally use an Intuos tablet as well if you're into art and drawing and stuff so it, it's really up to you. You don't need anything fancy. If you're looking into getting a, uh, a tablet, I recommend getting one of the bamboo tablets if you're just a beginner. They're actually awesome, and you don't even need more than that. Um, I just, I, I work, or sorry, I do this for a living, so, um, you know, being one who works from home, I needed something more of a, you know, Cintiq 22HD sort of deal, but I mean, I, I wouldn't have gotten it otherwise because I had a great little tablet before, but I was sort of, well, I had no choice but to get this. Not that I'm complaining, I love it, but it's definitely expensive. Um, so right now, um, I guess this requires a, a little bit of knowledge on um, human anatomy. You know, like, I mean, not a ton, but I like doing my three quarter faces, most people do, for these face sets, and um, you sort of just, you know, like I said, if you look up reference, it's the best way to go. There's tons of references on three-quarter faces and three-quarter looks and stuff like that. If you want to do front-on, then then you're in luck because that's like one of the easiest, um, well, I shouldn't say the easiest, but it's, it's one of the least complicated um, views to do for faces. Or I've even seen RPG Maker do some really awesome side view faces, which was actually really surprising. Um, but it, it really, really turned out well. I'm just, I'm actually terrible at doing side views. I, I just can't do them. They all look, all my characters look super weird. But anyway, so, um, I guess through this process, uh, I was sort of thinking about what he was going to wear, and, you know, I mean, you always kind of want an idea, you know, just bring out your little sprite from your RPG maker, if you've already made him. Um, I tend to make my sprites before I actually make my face sets because then it sort of gives me a better idea of what they're going to be wearing and how much room I have to play with in terms of costume, face, and hair, and things like that. And, and I think that's a good basis to go off of. So um, I experimented a lot, um, I went through <laughs> a bit 
bit more than I should have. Uh, you don't need to do as much as I was doing here with uh, the clothing, like even going like below the neck because you don't even end up seeing that part of it anyway. I just sort of want to show you guys my full process and how I do things. But yeah, so if you guys have any questions about hair, eyes, eyebrows, clothes, or how I do faces, I will try my best of my ability to sort of explain everything. But um, other than that, uh, this is this is what I ended up doing for most of the part. So another thing that I went through, um, I actually I went through a lot of hair changes for him because I did not know what I wanted. So that's the other thing. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. I'm sure I've said that in my other videos, but you're going to make a ton. Um, and this part here, I was sort of solidifying things, not necessarily cleaning. Um, because the thing is, is that I'm going to take this character and I'm going to put him in a very, very much smaller scale than he actually is now. So, um, you don't need to have any, like, everything super crisp and, like, cleaned up at this point. I just sort of, it was kind of going that way for me, right, like, right in that moment. So I just decided to do it as, as clean as possible, but it usually looks like a giant mess. So <laughs> don't be afraid if, if you're not, you know, or just don't waste time cleaning now clean it later because you're going to be doing a lot of edits. <laughs> Trust me. So um, in this portion I actually uh, I copied and pasted him in an existing face set to sort of uh, try and figure out what his size was um, compared to my characters now and I'm really sorry for the flashing and flipping um, <laughs> through back and forth through the characters that's just sort of <laughs> how I do things. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that they were all the same size and, you know, just you know, not make sure that their eyes are bigger than theirs or they all look like from the same world, basically. Um, so here I kind of re started redoing and it's starting to be more solidified now, so I would definitely say that this is the cleanup stage. Um, uh, I definitely went through and changed a few things as I was cleaning up. You always tend to a little bit near the end. Um, it just sort of looked better this way and I just had a better feel for it once he was in his own space. So as you can see, I'm actually just, you know, going through things, um, making them a bit less complex and more determined than they were before. So I actually decided to uh, copy the face from my previous drawing and just paste it in because it was already so cleaned up before. So if you can salvage that, then then definitely do so. And also, yep, yeah, don't forget to separate everything, eyes, nose, ears, hair, <laughs> whatever moves. I mean, you don't have to separate the hair, but I would totally recommend that you should. Anyway, so at this point I started doing flat colors, and so the base of the skin was first, hair is usually second, um, then facial features, and then clothing. Um, you don't have to do it in this exact order, you can start wherever you want. Um, but the hierarchy is usually hair, face, clothes. Um, if you photoshopped before, then this is pretty much basic stuff, so, yeah. You know. <laughs> um, and yes, I actually, so I color picked from the, um, sprite itself, because I just, I don't know, I thought it would make the most sense. Um, I'm not saying you should definitely copy it T for T, but, um, I, I just like, you know, keeping a general color palette between the sprite and the face set. Um, there's not many people I know who do that, but um, it's actually usually quite the opposite. People will do their face sets first and then uh, custom make their sprites, but um, I'm actually, I'm really digging the generator and I have a few plans for the chibi looking sprites already, so it was sort of kind of just nice to have, you know, and I've never really done it this way before, so it was, it was a nice breather. Uh, I guess less colorful thinking in my in that sense. <laughs> um, if you guys even have any questions about uh, color theory as well, um, I actually well that's kind of my job. <laughs> as weird as it sounds, I do a lot of color theory during the day, and I try to make videos for you guys at night as much as I can. So um, if you have any questions about lighting or how I did things. <clears throat> Especially in the later section, I know it can be a bit of a jumble, and also, <clears throat> oh my god, I'm having like the worst cough day. <coughs> Sorry, what I was saying was, so 
so if you see anything in the layer section that you guys don't understand, you can totally ask, and I can um, give you small tips on clipping masks, um, you know, multiplying the layers, overlays, and color overlays, because um, I know in speed paints, things tend to go really fast, especially if you're really new at it. So I honestly don't mind giving you guys tutorials if you guys really need it. Um, but for now, I figured, you know, the basics of everything on how to get things done was the most important. So hopefully you guys can learn from or learn something from this visual viewing. And yeah. So um, the way I added in shadows actually was uh, I would color pick a darker color in the blacks or the grays or even for the skin, I would just use a, a darker skin tone and then put it on another layer and multiply that layer and then um, just kind of play with the scroll um, or sorry with the opacity and uh, figure out a tone that you would want for, for shadows and stuff like that and I'm actually going to mention now my characters as you've probably noticed they don't really have those traditional anime highlights in their hair you know like the really squiggly like triangular diamond looking stuff. I kind of just went over it with a, um, a soft brush and did a, uh, a white wash overlay. So basically what I mean is I took some white, I put it on his hair and then put that layer um, on an overlay status effect. And then I just played with the opacity and it just, you know, kind of worked out better for me that way. Sort of liked it that way. <laughs> um, but if you guys need tutorials on how to do um, really anime looking highlights. I am totally up for that too. Um, this is kind of turning into an art channel, which is kind of weird. I mean, I guess RPG Maker has a lot to do with art and math. I'm just horrible at the math part. Um, can't script, worth a damn, unfortunately. Um, but I do appreciate the people who do, and hopefully you guys can appreciate the artsy part of what I can do. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so here's pretty much the f almost final product. Um, I will be going back um, into another video and sort of uh, touching base on uh, changing expressions, but for now I figured um, just the creation of uh, a character was enough for now. Alright, so here's just an example of what it's going to look like in-game. Um, so, I mean, there's not much really to explain here, it's just what it looks like in its function. And there you go. So if you guys have any questions or comments or um, are wondering about anything, like I said, just leave me a message and all that jazz and I will get back to you as soon as possible. So, thanks for watching guys! Okay, bye now! <laughs>